What's going on everyone? We are back for another episode of Two Guys One Game Pad. And of course that's gonna sound really weird because it, as you can tell, there's really just one of us today. One of us being myself, sick. Uh, kind of a, a little FYI public announcement, whatever you wanna call it early on, real quick is, uh, this year or this season we are trying we being rock and I we're trying to do um, more or the exact same amount of content ideally more if possible and the best way to do that while also still being able to give ourselves uh, breaks and schedule time for like spring break and summer vacation and back to school trips and birthdays and all that we are taking it upon ourselves because again it's just the two of us a dead like a dead serious there's Roggle and myself that's it um and between the two of us we we're gonna start recording more solo type episodes where it'll be myself or just Roggle and we will be producing like i said the same amount of content or more while also taking breaks that hopefully do not interrupt the service of the podcast, but if they do, so be it type thing. Um, family life for us does come first, neither here nor there for this episode, but a little background on today's episode and what you're in store for. Um, first off, if you are a streamer, small, medium, large, or you're thinking about getting into streaming, um, this episode, I highly recommend you listen all the way through. Um, if you don't have time, I don't know how long it's going to take, 30 minutes, an hour, I don't know. Um, bookmark it, save it, come back to it. Save it regardless, or you can come back and uh, hear about it again if you're having issues or if you're like, oh shit, what did Sig say? What site? How did he do this? I got you. Um, second thing is we are not affiliated at the time of this recording we're not affiliated with any of these programs we're not sponsored by any of these programs we're not partnered with any of these programs or websites at all okay this is our personal or sorry my personal opinion on these on these programs sites companies brands whatever you want to call them this is 100 percent my opinion on them based off of what i've got out of them didn't get out of them um what and so much more just it's it's my perspective on it and that's very important to know because a lot of streamers out there a lot of people who are partner or affiliated they won't say it they don't feel like they should we're very transparent if we're partner with someone like we are or like i am with shellshock cbd then absolutely like i'll tell you i am i'm i'm affiliated with them i'm partnered with them i am like I have a discount code. You buy their stuff, I get a small kickback. And by the way, you should go try their stuff. Their stuff's fucking amazing. I love it. I use it myself for all my products. Uh, well, you, I've used everything but four items on there. And I used the CBD products for my cats and dogs because they're getting up their age. And because my dog is, even though she's a pit bull, she's like a freaking little chihuahua when it comes to storms or fireworks. So needless to say, yes, she's scared. And we use those products again. This was not going to be a product plug, but I just want to kind of like explain it going forward because I know we've had some comments on our live feed about it. So with that said, let's get after it. Today's episode is all about um, streamer production assistance, whether it is post-production, uh, live production, pre-production, or getting set up. We're, I'm doing a whole series on it. And there will be a playlist compiled over on our YouTube channel, Two Guys One Gamepad, where you'll be able to kind of see all this and uh, get the information that you need. So today's chapter, so to speak, is about clip creation. Um, and why I chose to start off with this one is for the pure fact of streaming in the most basic, simplest term, and it's going to piss off a lot of people. Streaming is really as simple as pressing stream. Like not to downplay it, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, but if you're just getting started and you're trying to figure out the ropes, hang with us, there'll be a whole series coming out. Um, and again, this is from our perspective, it's some of it will be just my episode, some of it may be just Roggle in the episode, some of it will be both of us. Um, 
for two types of perspectives on it and i'm using that word a lot so yes i know a lot of people won't under agree with that i know a lot of people will be like how dare you just say it's as easy as as pressing string because it's technically that easy to just press stream and, and and go now there should be more thought process put into it it should be a lot more work than just pressing a button and keep playing but to start off that is the logistics of it um don't just do that side note caveat whatever you want to call it there's more to it and you should do a lot more which is what we're going to be tackling so now that i've kind of like shot the shit and attempted to explain this let's just get into this and it'll make sense as we go along i promise you so post-production in the stream is everything that happens after you go after you uh it stops streaming and you're done streaming for the day the night the week whatever and you want to you, you don't want to just sit there and let your stream sit there in in your catalog in your vods video on demands whether it's on youtube kick facebook or twitch or anywhere else like d live or those are really the only ones i know right off the top of my head make sure you used to be a big one that's not there anymore um but you don't want to just let your video sit there because it does nothing for your channel for your brand and for your followers for building a community what you need to do is you should be one you should absolutely be reviewing all your streams every time you get done um within the next 24 hours go back watch your stream watch how you interacted with your chat watch how you interacted with the gameplay how did you sound how did you come across audio wise how did you uh, come across like verbally meaning how did you interpret yourself after hearing what you said afterwards um, was there something you probably shouldn't have said should you have emphasized on something more did you miss out on something uh, along with you're looking for highlight moments for clips for special moments inside your stream and you should be taking those moments and making short content out of it meaning less than a minute um, and you want to put these up on like facebook and instagram reels you want to put these up on youtube shorts you want to put these on tiktok uh, so it's all going to be in portrait vertical in other words style and you want to make it sort of shareable all across these platforms um, talking about what sh what night of stream it was from or what type of moment what's in the clip you want to describe it but therein lies one of the biggest and most time consuming tasks a streamer has and when you're just starting off or even your me medium-sized streamer or maybe your big time streamer you just you don't want to pay for a team or you don't have a team that's perfectly fine that's what a lot of these programs are designed to do is not necessarily replace a team but they are there to help you along the way until you feel comfortable enough that you can so so to speak justify the cost of bringing on a team to do all that work for you so where you literally just had to do is go live such as like ninja does and tim the Tatman, dr disrespect nick Merckx. Uh, all of the Pokemon, um, Nadia, like there's so many of them, anybody from FaZe, like all those streamers you can think of, I know I'm leaving out so many of them, uh, but those are the big ones that instantly come to my head. You, they all have teams to go through that post-production and make clips, and they even have teams that will watch them live and moderate their, their chat for them, but at the same time, clip moments where it's easier for post-production but we're not there yet you're not there yet and that's fine here are what i got six technically we'll say five for sure and then if you are on twitch we have six um, these are six programs that can help make this a little bit easier and we're going to start off with uh, kind of three of them that you had to do a little bit of the grunt work one of them you had to do some but not a lot and then the other two you really don't have to do a lot of grunt work you just have to um, convert and upload type thing so it makes sense that's real long i promise so this first one of course like i said if you're on twitch and you use twitch and you use twitch to live stream uh this is not new as in like in the last week or this year this is still technically relatively new for this aspect and what it is is the clips section underneath create your dashboard and then content there's a clip section this has been there for a very long time but the aspect that has been 
uh, fairly recent, like in the last uh, six months, I believe even less than that, I believe it was like the last three months, um, into 2023, not beginning of 2024. Um, they Twitch introduced a cropped portrait where it automatically converts your landscape horizontal stream content and will help you clip it or create it into a vertical portrait style so you can literally just upload right away and when i see it to do a lot of legwork for this one this is one like if your community is watching you and they create a clip for you or you're you have a stream deck or some type of stream deck whether a gato or razor or some janky out brand one and you can push a button and it automatically clips it or you are just uh, watching this back for the first time second time third time whatever and you're finding these moments this is where all your clips will go and you can go in there and you can set up a formatted style that allows you to literally just crop it it's literally as easy as going again if you're on twitch go to create a dashboard go to content and there's clip section from there you can see all your clips they categorize them by uh the game along with the title so if you don't title them and somebody else does you will see what they called it or if you made the clip you can title it i recommend titling all your clips so where it's as easy as copy paste into the title of the program you use to upload it or the, pro the media site you upload it to tiktok youtube facebook instagram but you find the clip you want you open the clip and you'll see a big purple button in the middle of it you literally just hit clip to portrait at which point it brings up two uh shapes one giant square one rectangle uh should automatically be defaulted to being in the middle of your screen and then you should see a smaller rectangle that you can move around and reshape so where you can fit it around your webcam if you don't have a webcam you don't play with one they do give you the option of just do what's called full play or full screen and you won't have your webcam up there at all and you'll just have pure gameplay and then from there there's op there's simple options like add your channel name so then it'll put the twitch logo with your handle on it um, and then you just hit save and close if you want to mess with it later or save and export and then once you hit save and export connect your youtube account if you haven't already connect your tiktok if you haven't already and then once you're done with connecting that it's literally as simple as typing the titles for both tiktok and instagram type in the descriptions for youtube youtube you want to type your your hashtags in the description field do not use all the public space up top and title because you only have 100 characters description you have 5,000. so be smart with it but don't overload your hashtags either um, it's going to default add hashtag shorts uh, kind of the rule of thumb that i've been taught and i've learned from courses is always the hashtag of your channel so for example mine is cybermerk sig so i would do hashtag cybermerk sig i would also add the word clips to the end of it so cyber, hashtag cybermerk sig clips um if we did one for two guys one gamepad you often will see hashtag two, two guys one gamepad hashtag two guys one gamepad clips um you also see 2g1g or 2g1gp there we go along with clips at the end of that and that is like your brand recognition and your brand building you're using those hashtags to be associated with your channel specifically so anytime anybody else uses that it grows your recognition as well as you can see who's using it and you can go into the the nitty-gritty of the statistics on youtube and tiktok on that point um with tiktok kind of use similar ones use the name of the game so if we're playing call of duty it's hashtag call of duty hashtags warzone again add the word clips at the end of it as well so you should just based off your channel name the game you should have minimum of four possibly even six depending upon if it's like call of duty where there's you know there's warzone but that's still underneath call of duty so you want to use both hashtags but if it's like fortnite you just use fortnite and fortnite clips um, and again, there are tons of websites out there that will help you generate hashtags. There's tons of websites that will do an SEO search. So where you can go through and find the best one to use. And when you do those type of things, um, you can also go like TikTok and YouTube and just mainly type in hashtag, whatever the hashtag that you're looking for. At that point, you want to use, don't use one that's heavily oversaturated, meaning millions and millions and millions of uh, users are using that. 
you want to say like the rule of thumb has always been taught start with like the low thousands and work your way up to like half a million but don't cross over the million threshold just because you'll be put into an ocean so to speak and you want to kind of be in a pond with these hashtags where you're easier to find and get eyes on whereas an, if you're in that ocean of call of duty hashtag call of duty that is a hundreds of million ones i know i told you to use it it's just having those two in there along with more will help get eyes on you don't have to i've seen success with them and it's also recommended to always use your video game it's a contradictory i know i get it it's what's kind of just tied out there and what's mentioned out there uh, but using that and seeing that if you have you know 84 million people using warzone 2 clips you're using it now you're competing with 82 million people whereas if it's a thousand people you're only competing with a thousand so your chances of being seen is percentage wise is larger but it's also about like are you commenting are you responding back to comments there's a lot more to it so but we'll get into that later another episode i promise uh but anyway so once you're on tiktok and you do the clip editor you put a portrait mode you literally once you have the title the description filled out change privacy to public hit share to youtube shorts type in the title for tiktok set privacy to public and you can allow comments duets and stitches and then hit share to tiktok and there you go you have your clips uploaded instantly to those two platforms with no real issues at all and then if you want something a little bit more um refined i guess so to speak if you want one that you know will help you a little bit more you can go to clipbots or clipbot.tv and they have three different plans you're really only going to use two of them um the third one is meant for very big streamers and kind of think of this as like your team getting on there and they're doing everything for you um, but clipbot has a free version and then they have a pay tier one it starts off at 15 dollars a month if you do the monthly costs which let's just do the quick math because math is important so if you do the 15 dollars a month for 12 months because that's how many months are in the year that's 180 dollars that you're going to spend um, and again, I understand that everybody can do yearly, but just understand that statistically yearly is where you're going to save a lot of money. Um, but anyways, they have a monthly for 15 and annuals $110, sorry, $109. Um, so that's a $71 savings. Anyways, price out of the way. So you're going to, for the free version, they're going to automatic we help with youtube shorts automatic TikTok uploads uh easy vertical videos crop once and crop forever meaning you make a mold so to speak and that's what you default to every time uh, they have a manual mode best clip filtering custom crops and they do require in this one that the hashtag clipbot tv is included this one's honestly if you're just starting out and you're not really sure on what exactly it is you want to do and how much you want to invest in this this one i'm telling you right now is probably your most effective and efficient one to use as a entry-level streamer and you're just trying to get your your toes wet before you dive in balls deep to the same the only difference between their free version and the paid version again of either 109 dollars a year or 15 dollars a month um, is in the pay tier one you can schedule your uploads it gives you a calendar so where you can set times for your videos to go out um, and they also allow which i don't i don't say no i don't know why this is a feature or why they say look you can do this this should always be a fucking feature in any program in any app in any brand in any business anywhere they say you can suggest features or you can suggest future features that get built the fact that they're saying you don't get that in the free version is is asinine in my opinion um basically saying your opinion does not matter unless you pay us and that's just customer alienation on a different level but we're not going to talk about that so this gives you a really good like a good baseline is what i would say for deciding whether or not you want to pay for an ai generated 
clip maker that can do it for you. Again, you still have to physically upload your, your videos. These are not going to just clip it, upload it. You have to, you have to do it yourself. So it's not something that's ever going to be done um, automatic or not. I shouldn't say it's not ever going to be done. At the current stance, it's not done that way. There are programs out there right now that are working on, on automatically uploading to specifically TikTok and YouTube from what I've seen. Um, I'm sure there's some out there right now that are fully available and fully functioning. Um, none that I have personally ran across that is for public use. Um, I know you can do it yourself if you know how to code. That's a lot of work though, if you're not willing to put that in. So regardless, uh, if you, again, if you are starting out streaming and you are trying to, excuse me, if you're trying to figure out like how to do the clip things, or you just need help. Clipbot.tv is an amazing one to start off with since they do have a free version that works really nicely in my opinion. So let's move on to another one. So then you have Streamladder dot com which i'm gonna be honest with you this is one of those like i don't i don't have a lot of good things to say about this one as i have tried again i've tried all these so this is not like a a i'm shooting smoke up everybody's ass just because like it's i i've tried these i've sampled all of them i tried all of these both free and paid versions for a minimum of a month. Um, I try to give each one three to six months if possible. If they are just way too rough, I literally just say this sucks ass and I move on. And that's kind of where Streamladder is in my opinion. Okay, because the last one we're going to talk about today puts Streamladder to, to shame in a heartbeat. But anyways, Streamladder, like the prior one clipbot this also has a free version however kind of the big thing in this is uh, you can you can upload and convert however the audio or not audio sorry the quality for their free version is 720 with 60 frames uh, which is not bad again not not amazing but you don't get any special little features um, and clipbot really didn't mention these either i didn't see them when i was using them um, so I haven't used Clipbot in like six months either. So, but again, this has been in the works for over a year. Um, so the free version of Streamladder, you literally can just upload it's your video is going to have a watermark on it. I mean, it's going to say Streamladder on it. You can upload from Twitch and YouTube or a local file and it's, it's free. Cool. Uh, but you don't get any like premium layout effects. You don't get any stickers or text, automated captions. You can't save your flow to a template. It's not fast rendering. You can't render multiple at the same time. You can't render in the background. And they don't post directly to YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. They really don't post anywhere. So for a stream ladder, you're going to have to download the file and then upload it. So double work, not a big issue though, but teach their own, I guess. Uh, they have two paid tiers. They have their silver and gold. Their silver one is $9 a month, um, which again, like I said, math is important. $9 a month is $108 a year, or you can do their annual and it's $90 a year. So, it, you know, you save about $1.50 a month. Uh, what that's $18 altogether. Is that what I said? Yeah, $18 total in a year. Not that great of a savings, uh, but you do get everything, like you get everything as before. Uh, you don't get watermark. This is when it bumps up to 1080p with uh, 60 frames per second. Upload from Twitch, YouTube, and local. All these tiers have the exact same thing, okay? Free starts off at 720p and 60 frames per second for their quality. Silver and gold have 1080 and 60 frames per second. For silver, you do get the premium layouts. You can add stickers and automated captions. You can save a template and you can use the mobile site as well. However, again, it does not render fast. It does not render in the background. It does not allow you to render to multiple videos at the same time. You can upload directly to YouTube and TikTok. You can't schedule it. You just you just upload, okay? That's, that's key right there. 
right. and then you have their gold program. Their gold program a month is $15 a month, which again is $180, or you can save $250 a month, which makes it $1250. And that, oh my God, times 12, there we go. So $12.50 over 12 months is $150. So that's a $30 saving, not a big difference. Um, I mean, $30 is, a, is the half price of game. So yes, it is a big difference, but you know what I mean. You'll see why I'm saying not a big difference when you compare it in the long run. Um, the only real added benefits you get, well, again, with gold, um, you still get the premium layouts, the stickers, the text, the AI generated captions, the templates. You can use a mobile site. However, this is when you get kind of the cream of the crop, so to speak, and they do faster rendering. They allow you to render in the background and you can render multiple videos on at the same time. It allows you to post directly to YouTube and TikTok. It allows you to schedule those. You can connect multiple social media accounts um, and you get a referral program. They do say Instagram is coming, but it's not out at the time of this recording. So it's one of those things of $180. Okay, cool. Yeah, $180 is basically gonna be your base rate for your top tier if you catch my drift. You'll understand here in a second if you don't already. Um, Streamladder is like, that's not enticing enough um, for me personally. Uh, I didn't really struggle. I just hated the the workflow of it, so to speak, that it didn't feel clean. It didn't feel easy to use all the time. Um, so yeah, just kind of my opinion. Then there's our third one. This is really kind of a, oh, what's the best way to put it? It's not really the same, but figure I talk about it. This is another place that you can kind of upload your content to. And they do let you share with one clip. They do let you do custom compilations and everything. Uh, they have a free version and this is called sizzle.gg. Uh, their free version is free, zero dollars a month. Um, and they don't have an annual, they just have a monthly, but the monthly is $4.99 a month, which equates to $59.88 a year. Super cheap in comparison to everyone else. But this is more of a social media website for gamers. Um, you can stream here, you can do uploads, you can download, you get clip editing. This is kind of like a bougie version of the Twitch content creation clip editing prospect of it. Um, the free version, you get basically half of the capabilities. So you get unlimited streams, you get 1080 download, you get custom compilation, clip editing features, one click sharing, and multiple streaming profiles. For the $5 a month, you just get all that plus a uh, higher priority for processing your stream. You do get 30 days of storage for VODs and clips. You get unlimited VOD duration, meaning how long it is. No watermark. You get featured on the Sizzle homepage, you get early access to Universe AI, and they do vertical downloads. So for $5 a month, this one's not, it's bad. But for what it's really trying to go for, being more of a social media perspective on it, um, it's not not terrible. It's kind of middle of the road uh, for it. The thing that makes it just kind of a little bit better is the price and the fact that it's more like this is 100% for gamers. So you can go on here, you can do it for free. Uh, you'll have a watermark. Otherwise you can just upload all your own content and share it there. But if you want to make clips, they have that capability. Um, this is not one I really tested out for too long. If I'm being honest, I tested out for about 30 days. And when this sucked ass, I am not spending $5 for this. Um, take that with a grain of salt. It may be up your avenue. It's just not up mine. Um, these last two, let me preface this all by saying I have used these last two, the most recent, um, uh, as in the last 90 days. Um, I guess technically even sooner, I am still using one of these. Um, I just got done using powder.gg, which I just stopped using about a week ago after using it for a month and deciding that, you know, Hey, this just really isn't my cup of tea. Um, they were really 
really well. Um, they worked really well with me. I tried the one week and then decided oh, I want to try this out. And then after trying it for a solid month, I requested a refund, just cancel it. So I did I had to pay a little bit. No biggie though. Um, got 98, like 90, 95% of it refunded. I don't care. Not the point here. Uh, but powder.gg is an AI. These are all AI driven, but this one specifically, they do have a free plan as well. Uh, you can only upload and export three clips per week. They have very limited support and they don't um, export to video editors, meaning you like it doesn't save in the format where you can edit it in like DaVinci or uh, Adobe. You have to still edit on top of that. It's not ready to go. Um, they do have an enterprise. Again, that's more for like a team aspect but for a hundred dollars a year or 19.99 a month which i'm telling you guys this is why i keep doing the math because if you do the 19.99 a month you take that over 12 months that's 239 dollars and 88 cents or you can just pay the yearly up front and it's 99 dollars so you're literally saving hundreds of dollars doing it just annually um again it's a hundred and forty dollars difference so i really did like powder.gg it just didn't give me everything i needed everything i wanted um like the last one did but this is an amazing one if you really just like shoot the shit get going type thing um this does like it analyzes your entire gameplay right after you get done streaming. It allows stream integration to Twitch and YouTube. You can also do local files. I mean, it pulls the stream from the platform itself. It picks up on key moments in the game based off specific events. You can do keyword search while well, it'll scrub your entire thing. And it's, let's say you search for the, your keyword is Twitch. Every time you say Twitch, it'll make a clip out of it. Um, it does universal game support, meaning no matter what game you upload, it will find one. That does also mean like I tested out with a podcast episode to make clips. It did work technically, uh, but didn't work in the capacity I wanted it to. Still fine. I had, it just made my life a lot easier though. And it does pick up on emotion detection, which is really cool feature. However, uh, it's not perfect. I say that because there would be multiple clips of mine that it would just be like, again, Call of Duty is a big game. That's why I'm using it. Call of Duty, Apex, and Fortnite, I'd play and I would just get demolished and I maybe got one or two kills and you just see me getting wrecked. It picked up on every time I died. Not the other team, every time I died, which to me infuriated me a bit uh, and then it kept saying oh this is an emotion detective we picked up on you laughing and you, there's literally clips of me being dead silent um, so it's not perfect so the emotions feature is cool it needs uh, fine-tuning on my in, in my opinion um, it takes about a week for all that to really happen but even then after a month it wasn't doing as well as I wanted to I was getting really annoyed by the emotion detection system where it's like you're laughing all the time no i'm fucking not i'm so zoned in on a game i'm not laughing i'm i am zoned um so that's yeah so so type thing um doing local files or trying to pull from twitch or youtube i could pull from roggle stream and get clips it didn't work all the time it was very very finicky on that one even if i wanted to pull a previous stream on my own it wasn't 100% perfect, but it got the job done. If you're a PC user, they do have a program that you have to download. So it's really the only way I've seen this work properly. I did not work for me on the mobile aspect of it, but I also doesn't claim it, so I'm not holding against it. However, huge fucking saving. $140 price difference. You can pay $20 a month, so to speak. It's $19.99. Pay $20 a month, and you're going to pay $240 in a year, or you can just pay $100 up front and you know at that point you're not out of the shit ton of money 240 dollars a lot of money 100 dollars money yeah you could justify that to a degree um so this one is is one of my favorite ones it did a lot did more than what i was expecting but then at the same time once i started using it i started having personal grief with it that i did not like Again, the emotion detection is an amazing feature. It is not flawless. It is not even in the realm. It's not even in the planet of being flawless. 
it has a lot of issues so just be aware if you are playing any type of game and it says this one we detected laughter on it and you didn't laugh not much you can do other than say this isn't the type of content i like and let it redo itself so yeah definitely recommend testing this out you can do the annually you can do the annual for a hundred dollars and you do get one week free to kind of dip your toes in if you want to test out and you can cancel before the week is up so where you don't get charged a hundred dollars all right on to the last one um this one again is one i am using right now as we speak and i am enjoying it um there's still a little bit of struggle some complications but it's 50 50 if it's like a me issue or a them issue i'm blaming a lot of blame on them but it's probably a, a me thing that's fine anyways so last one that we're going to talk about and again my one of my favorite ones is called eclipse.gg e-k-l-i-p-s-e dot gg they do so many freaking games okay let me just start that off by saying they do so many games and they're constantly up to date with uh new games like hell divers 2 that just came out um a few weeks ago when this recording hits uh, they do even like pokemon and spider-man moral combat wwe paladin smash brothers mario kart just chatting podcast tech and nfl nba mlb smite among us elden ring fall guys so many freaking games so there are hundreds and hundreds of games I, I can't go through all of them um but yes they offer a lot of support in that aspect and that's one thing like powder.gg did have a huge library so don't get me wrong it had a huge library but the fact that it was a struggle at times to let even figure out that this is a call of duty game or it was an apex game that was more of a nuisance on on like i did not like that just my opinion um so just trying to be aware of that so with eclipse.gg they too have two plans they have a free version which i'm gonna just be honest sucks ass don't do the free version this is like the one time i'm like yeah it's not, it's not great it's so many struggles when i use the free version of this i was constantly having issues with their watermark with the uh, clip coming out pink or purple um it looked like filters was on it i just did not like the free version now with that said okay there too starts off at a monthly cost of 19.99 a month equating to 240 dollars a year or it's 150 dollars if you pay up front so you save only 37 percent in comparison to 66 over at powder so you're saving 90 dollars um but with Eclipse, you get more than just like AI generated clips, okay? They can pull clips from Twitch, Kick, YouTube, uh, Facebook as well. I'm gonna stop right there. I have not had successfully connect to my Facebook or my Instagram to pull clips or upload to Instagram Reels. So just, I don't know. I, this is one of those things like, I don't know if it's a me or them. I've been with chat support. We can't figure out why it's not connecting. So yeah, uh, but they also do, youtube credits which is where basically you can pull youtube or upload local and it will make clips based off of it. this is what i use for podcast episodes um you get 7200 annually or if you do monthly you get 600 minutes a month uh, they refresh every 30 days on the monthly plan on the annually reset every year so this this can be used for a lot of stuff but does not mean they pull from youtube costing you minutes so it's a whole thing of itself okay um, but this is new pricing but the cool thing is they have auto edit they have montage maker extend the clip pro view which is for like call of duty and apex and fortnite and it just shows you statistics where it's like this is the number of kills you got in this this is the number of clips this is how long the duration um headshots waypoint mile markers all that type of stuff so there's a lot of stuff to it um with the premium version you do get 1080 high quality hd output um, you can process 
up to three full streams a day. Streams, not clips, streams, three streams. So if you are streaming three times a day, this will work for you. I personally don't know anybody that streams three times a day. I stream maybe once, if possible. Thursday night's the only time I stream for sure with Roggle as we do our game night that night. Uh, no watermarks, you get early access to all new features and it processes three times faster and it processes by itself without having the tab open. Um, but anyways, this thing is a beast. It does auto processing. So when the street, the stream ends, it will, it takes a bit depending upon how long your streams are. It will pull that entire stream. It will make clips, find them. And all you have to do is hit convert to reels. They are working on the automation side of the house right now where it will make clips for you. Um, right now it does kind of work where you can tell to import clips from a specific date and time uh, with the clip views and you can literally just done, boom. Um, I have not fully tested it out because I haven't needed it to um, as it's making all the clips for me. So I'm, yeah, I will go more into that at a later time when I've actually got to play around with it. But the cool thing about Eclipse.gg is it gives you hype moments. You can do voice commands for like, saying the word clip it clip that um, let's clip this anything really it says clip it's going to trigger the voice command feature and it'll make a clip out of that um, it picks up hype moments this could be again you saying clip it this could be just you guys shooting the shit and having a lot of fun and um, and so much more so this picks up on emotions to a degree but not they're not claiming 100% emotions, which is perfect. Uh, but then you can see like each individual match inside of that uh, stream. So just for example, one of my latest streams, I have, I played 10 matches and it took down each one. It told me whether or not like I placed in the top 10, top five, top three, um, or if we were just defeated, it tells me the, the amount of clips I have in there, the type of events, it tells me how long, um the the match was it tells you how many total clips you were kills downs so much more um but for example like i have clips i say it's a kill streak so it's just me going on a rampage for a minute and a half um multi clear multi kill single kills kill streaks headshots uh uh, ending ending in a victory so that's really just us talking shooting a shit kill streak i already said kill streak it can pick up on key moments or high moments it can pick up on just so many aspects of it and each game's different so do know that um so like in hell divers it picks up on when we complete a a mission or a task it picks up on when we clear out a bug nest it picks up on just a lot uh, mario kart it does the same i'm going to test out the other games i really right now i've only been playing about three to four different games so there will be a update on all this as time passes so be prepared for that but this is by far one of my favorite programs out there that will help you and yeah if you're starting out as a streamer um, and you know you're not looking to drop hundreds and hundreds of dollars i do highly recommend checking out clipbot or um even streamladder just know again streamladder doesn't automatically post uh, i mean yeah anyways it doesn't automatically post uh, but streambot and streamladder are good like intros if you're on twitch and you are good with re-watching your videos and making clips as you go just use theirs um do know that regardless of which programs you use, if your stream is not at the right bit rate to get to high definition, it will look grainy because it's what you shot in. So this is like an issue I struggled with for uh, about a couple weeks or a few weeks at the beginning of this year because I didn't realize my bit rate got refreshed in OBS. Um, it dropped below 6,000 and I had to redo everything obs updated it happens um so now everything's good you just gotta know about your bit rate and we can do a whole episode about that as well um so use twitch if you're on twitch if you're not use clipbot and stream ladder um, if you want like a social media aspect of it and be able to chat and hang out with other people 
um, to a degree, of course. Check out sizzle.gg. And then lastly, my two top programs that are like go-tos right now are powder.gg and eclipse.gg. These are just great programs in of itself. Each have their own um, perks and benefits to them. Again, I prefer Eclipse because there's just, there's more to it than what powder does. And it is $50 more a year, but honestly $50 more a year is, is amazing for the cost and the product you get. Um, I, I think, yeah, I kind of touch on this. Eclipse will make montages or allow you to make montage. They'll do weekly showcases too. So where they take like the best moments, you can even request to have professionals edit your stuff. Um, they have the automation. They have all the edit clips, voice command, Twitch kick, Facebook clips, YouTube clips, stream videos. Like you, just, you get so, so bloody much for your $150 a year. I highly recommend this. Um, if you're not gonna do this, do powder. If you want free, go free, it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my two cents on all this. I hope you got something from it. Um, I will link all the channel or all the websites down below. Again, we're not affiliate, we're not partnered, we're not sponsored, we're not paid to any degree by these people. And at, I will say this, at the time of this recording, we are not. Uh, why did I say that? Because you never know what happens in the future. So currently we are not at that point where we are partnered or paid by anybody to give reviews about this type of stuff. This is really just an honest review of mine. From my perspective, my opinion on it, uh, no one else not paid for. But definitely go check them out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some, some use out of all this and I hope it works amazing for you. Uh, if you want to check out where these clips are coming from you can go every thursday night you can watch us live at twitch.tv forward slash roggle r-a-h-g-e-l or you can find myself sig everywhere facebook twitch youtube or kick at cyber merc sig c-y-b-e-r-m-e-r-c-s-i-g and you can watch us live or you can just go to our respective platforms as well twitch uh not twitch sorry tiktok youtube um, for myself, Cybermark 6 still, and all those are linked down below in the description of every episode. So where you can, you know, follow us along and see, but see more than just the podcast, so to speak. So, um, but yeah, hope you got something useful out of this. Um, until next time, everyone, take care. Thank you for listening, and you know, stay tuned. We got more to come. Till then, everyone, take it easy.